Hey, Marcellus here, and this is going to be a basic tutorial on how to connect to the Rising HF uh, miner. Uh, as of right now, they do not have a web interface, so you're not going to be able to connect to it that way. And SSH is also not enabled uh, by default either. So that's going to be of a uh, concern to those of you who are more advanced and want to gain access to this miner. So I wanted to show you how that can be done. Now, I'm not going to go over any Linux commands because I am not a Linux professional and uh, I don't want to uh, do anything that's going to cause anybody any trouble. So if you're not familiar with Linux, I suggest that you kind of pause and take a step back from this. But for those of you who are and need to gain access to this miner, this is how you do it. So that is my disclaimer. Don't do anything that's going to damage it. And definitely don't change the default password because they might be using that on the back end to uh, connect to the miner for updates and things like that through the Helium network. So hopefully in the future they will give us a web interface to this, but as for right now, um, you know, nothing. So uh, what you want to do, there's a micro USB port here on the inside. Uh, I've tried using this port on the outside, doesn't, doesn't do anything for me. So I went ahead and connected it to this USB port uh, on the inside. And when that happens, um, you're going to get an extra uh, port here in Device Manager. So let me go ahead and switch over to the computer. All right. And so we'll go ahead and plug in the cable here, this micro USB. And there's two micro USBs on here. You want to connect to the one that's on the bottom. All right. So once that's in, you will see this COM port. Your next step is to install PuTTY. So PuTTY is a very uh, common program that's used for uh, connecting uh, via SSH and terminal uh, connections. So you want to set that to serial. And we are on COM4 on this one, so we want to set it to COM4. And the baud rate, we want to change to 115,200. All right. And I also like to go down here to, um, on the connection here, where's it at? Yep, serial. Yeah, there it is. So you want to take the uh, flow control, you want to turn that completely off. You don't want that to either software or hardware flow control. Um, so that's also going to be a factor as well. And once you um, hit OK, like again, make sure that this COM port matches the COM port that you have here. If it shows up as an unknown device, then you might want to install what's called an FTDI driver. Um, I'm not going to get into that, but uh, Windows 11, and Windows 10 and 11 might actually install this automatically for you. So, anywho, go ahead and hit OK or Open. All right, you'll get a black screen. Sometimes I just hit Enter, and it brings me to the login. And the default login for these devices is going to be uh, for the username RXHF. And the password is going to be Rising HF, R I S I N G H F. And there you go. You are in. So that's how you get into the Rising HF Helium Miner. Uh, from there, uh, if you're familiar with Linux, um, you can possibly go into enable SSH. Um, like again, I wouldn't change any default passwords or anything, but for those of you who are more advanced in Linux, uh, this might give you a few more options and dealing with the miners, especially when they're set up in remote locations. So I hope this helps. Uh, have a good day. Peace.